Ribbit, <clears throat> ribbit, uh, excuse me, got a frog in my throat, ribbit. This is Ray the Bear Man trying to make a serious video. And, uh, well, I'm having a little uh, hard time here trying to make it too serious, but it is serious. Uh, this is a little bit about uh, Asperger's, uh, depression, uh, PTSD, which is post-traumatic stress disorder, and maybe getting help with EMDR, which is the eye movement, or uh, you can use sound or motion. And uh, EMDR is to relive the experiences, not relive, but uh, look at the experiences and reprocess so that uh, the uh, PTSD uh, situations do not haunt you to where you might want to end your life. Uh, a couple weeks ago, there was a teenager here in Manitou that was having trouble, so I chatted and ma made them feel better. Uh, and so uh, there I have it. Um, and so I posted on this. Uh, uh, social network uh, page. Uh, I guess it reaches eight to ten thousand. Not bad for a little page. And I, I did not say any names, but I'm just saying that there's help available. Uh, another friend of mine uh, started a group about Aspergers or Awesome Aspies or I'm not sure what it's called, but it, it's about people with Aspergers. And it's a public group. And if you want to join or uh, maybe just look at it and get insights, because people with Aspergers end up with drama in their life, and sometimes they lose their head. Oh, sorry, I'll put that back. And um, so basically, um, <clears throat> I've had things in my life where there's kind of repeats of this and that, of the same kind of drama. And sometimes we don't see it coming, do we? No, we don't. <clears throat> so in any event, uh, some good news is I have not had to eat out of dumpsters for some time now, which is great. Um, part of the deal was, is that uh, because of my social anxiety, it was easier for me to go into a dumpster and die for food grab what I need and I put away the rest, take take what I need home instead of sitting around a bunch of people at a soup kitchen at the Marion House or whatever because of my social anxiety. A lot of people with Asperger's uh, and OCD uh, struggle with that. So here I am making a video and I can reach, you know, I don't know, I, I, I guess, okay, people with Asperger's are capable of doing uh, extraordinary things. So for the normal people that get upset, try not to judge because a lot of us struggle. We really do. And it seems like the people that do judge that are like normal and sit back in their you know armchair and judge had a lot of things done for them most of their lives. I could be wrong. That's just my way of thinking. Uh, the, the way I think with Asperger's and I think out loud it pisses people off, but oh well, I don't mean to hurt people or cause any harm. But I do know that I spent $7,000 worth of radio equipment. A lot of it was destroyed. But good news is that a lot of people here uh, in this area, up and down Ruxton, um, have already uh, given me money to rebuild some of that radio equipment to help this community, including a uh, backup type of communication system or relay system uh, for police and fire. So there you have it. So there are good things. And so um, people with Asperger's think, you know, I mean, they, they want to make a lot of friends, but it's not going to happen. I have a few good friends and a lot of people that live up and down here. Uh, I'm in Manitou like part of the week and uh, I try to be grateful. <clears throat> I was in a dark spot for a couple weeks. And part of that was the processing of the EMDR. And, and again, people don't understand because they've never been through it what I've been through and I have my experience and the other thing is that we all have our conditioning people are going to treat us a certain way it's going to affect us for the rest of our lives my pattern is the way it is it has not changed the difference is maybe the paperwork is different you know if something happens whatever and something happens to me, it's like, okay, well, that's going to get handled a lot different than it was before. And that's just, you know, how it is. Uh, so people with Asperger's may fall into the same trap. Uh, the other day, I fell in the ice, but I did not hurt myself. And I fell sideways and grabbed that tree over there. And I was like, whoopsie. And I, I kind of laughed, thinking, okay, well, I fell. It did not hurt myself. So, you know, things are going to happen. But the idea is to uh, talk to people on Facebook. And if you don't have a Facebook account, talk to people in person, make some phone calls, uh, see a counselor, see a therapist. Not every counselor or therapist is going to know the right tools, but they're going to try. 
An idea is when you make an effort and know that you have a problem, that is half the battle. Again, that is half the battle. So this is over five minutes long, and I just wanted to give a few cliff notes because uh, I was in a dark spot and I had lots of support. I want to thank you, and again, thank you. So this is Ray the Bear Man signing out. Thank you for listening.